Hi everybody, this is Julian from Hugging Face. A lot of folks still think fine-tuning large models is difficult, time-consuming, expensive, and that it's really not for them. So, in a previous video I showed you how you could fine-tune stable diffusion for literally one dollar. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can fine-tune the famous LAMA2 model 7 billion parameters for just a few dollars and i really mean a few less than five okay let's get to work my starting point is this really nice blog post by my colleagues where they introduce quantization and combining quantization with the famous LoRa technique which i demonstrated in that stable diffusion video and the combination of quantization and LoRa is called QLORA. And I'll explain, hopefully in plain English, what QLORA means. But just so you know, in a nutshell, this makes it possible to start from really large models and reduce dramatically the amount of infrastructure and particularly the amount of GPU memory that is required to fine tune the model. And as we will see in the demo, we're able to start from a a multi-billion parameter model and fine-tune it on a really small GPU for almost negligible cost. Okay, so as usual I will put all the links in the video description and as a starting point you should definitely read this and learn about QLORA and the benefits and there's a lot of technical information here, right? Or if that's a bit too much, watch the video and then go read the nice uh, blog post afterwards, okay? So let's first start by explaining what that QLORA technique means. In the stable diffusion fine-tuning video, I explain LoRa in detail, so please go and watch that for the full explanation. I'll just give you the quick summary here. So fine-tuning requires tweaking all parameters, but what LoRa says is instead of doing that, we can just learn a couple of much smaller matrices um, and we can train those only as updates to the original model and the end result is we end up learning only a fraction of the original parameters uh, typically 0.1 percent sometimes even less so as you can imagine uh, we require much less gpu memory we can work on mid-range gpus which are much less expensive and obviously much easier to find. So that's LoRa. Again, uh, watch the previous video for the full explanation. So QLoRa is adding quantization, right? So we quantize the model uh, before training and quantization really means shrinking, resizing all model parameters from say 16 bit to maybe 8-bit or even 4-bit. So you can imagine by doing that how much memory we save once again. So we quantize the model, that's a fast operation, and then we fine-tune the LoRa technique. Okay, so we get even better performance because we need even less GPU memory. So really large models can now be fine-tuned in a fraction of the original memory. Um, this is super easy to do on Hugging Face. Um, uh, we've integrated the bits and bytes library, which is a, a quantization library, into transformers. So it's literally, as you will see in the demo, just one parameter to uh, quantize a model when loading it from the hub. And as usual, uh, we provide sample scripts to do all of this and this is exactly what I'm, I'll be running today. Um, this is a, a supervised fine-tuning script from the TRL library, uh, Transformer Reinforcement Learning, and this lets us uh, fine-tune LAMA to 7 billion on a, a nice prompt data set using PEFT, so Parameter Efficient Fine-Tuning, plus 4-bit quantization, okay? And we can run this on a GPU as small as T4. Um, so I've actually tried 
T4, uh, it does work. I can confirm this. Um, it took a little too long uh, for my own taste. So I decided to upgrade to a slightly bigger GPU, but you will see uh, the cost is still negligible. Okay, so let me show you the, the instance type I'm using. Uh, let's run the script. Let's see how long it takes. And then we'll talk about cost. All right. For this demo, I've decided to use a G5 XLarge instance on AWS, right? And this is the one you see here. This one is for another demo that I'm still working on. Okay, so I'm using a G5 XL, which is the smallest size for G5 instances. So G5 instances come equipped with um, uh, from one to multiple GPUs. I'm using again this one here. Uh, it's it's got a single GPU and it's got uh, just 16 gigs of memory and that's more than enough. Okay, so if we look at that GPU here, okay, we see we've got an NVIDIA A10 G with just under 24 gigs. Okay, well, that's really much smaller than what you would get on, the, on P4 or P5 instances, right? And quite more cost effective, but we'll get to that. Okay, so a single GPU, mid range, Cool stuff, very easy to grab, no shortages on those, okay? So what have I done here? I've simply cloned the TRL library from GitHub, right? Uh, and this one has the nice script I wanna run. And this is a really simple script. So supervised fine tuning, the Llama model, which um, we're all familiar with, Llama 2, 7 billion. This cool data set, let me just grab this data set name. And we can take a look. So it's got about 10K prompts, um, which is, which is uh, really good. It's probably more than we even need to fine tune. And we've got questions as we can see, and we've got answers, etc., etc. Right? So that's that's good. That's a good example of a prompt data set you could build for uh, for your own efforts, right? And it's a good size, you know, 10k is again probably more than we need. All right, then we decide to use PEFT. Um, the PEFT library, which implements uh, LoRa and uh, QLoRa. And we will automatically quantize the model in 4-bit when we load it. And that's about it, right? So again, feel free to go and read the script. As usual, I think it's, uh, it's really nice to, uh, to read. But again, if that's a bit too much, you can just run this for now. And uh, in another video, I'll show you how you can actually adapt your uh, your existing your let's say your vanilla transformers code for uh, peft and uh, and qlora okay so wait for a couple of days and this should be ready for now we'll be just running the script okay um so if we're gonna run this i'm just gonna start it just to show you how long it takes it takes a few hours so uh so normally we would uh, that's a good trick you know i would run it something like this so that um, if I lose the connection to uh, to the console, um, then you know it keeps running in the background. It doesn't get uh, it doesn't get killed. Okay, so long running scripts with no hub is how I do it. In case you were curious, uh, go read about no hub if it's the first time you hear about this. Uh, let's take a quick look at the requirements for running this. Nothing really strange, as you would expect. TRL, PEFT, bits and bytes, and uh, diffusers library is required. Although at the time of recording, I had to pin this to an older version. Um, there's a there's a bug um, using the latest diffusers. Um, that's the one. Okay, and this is pretty fresh. 
So I'm quite sure it'll be fixed and um, and they moved an import from, from one file to another and this breaks the, the script in TRL. So that's certainly going to be fixed at some point. Uh, but for now, I would advise you to stick to a slightly older diffusers. Okay. All right. So having said that, I think we are ready to train. Uh, keep in mind that this model is a gated model. Uh, so you will need to get access to it. Um, super simple. Just click here, go to the meta website, you know, say, hey, I, I want to do this, blah, blah, blah. And within a day or two, they, they give you access, right? Okay. All right. Now that we've talked about all the all the tiny pitfalls, uh, we can actually run this. Okay. I think it's important because it, I, then people ask me questions, say, oh, it doesn't work. And, you know, I tried it. And why is it more complicated than your video? Well, it's not. It's just tiny things. Okay. All right, let's run this. So I already downloaded the model, so we can see we're loading directly from the cache. Okay, if you run this for the first time, then it will download a little bit. So let's pause the video. It takes a, a minute or two to load the different shards, and then we'll be right back. Okay, so fine tuning is actually started. We see we happily fit in. Um, in GPU memory, right? With some room to grow, but maybe not enough to increase increase batch size. I didn't try tweaking there. Okay, so we definitely fit that large model in those 24 gigs. And it looks like our training job is gonna run for about 10 hours, uh, which is interesting because we see we have about 10K prompts so you know if there's some logic to this then it means you could actually fine-tune on a thousand prompts in in an hour which is which is quite fast right and again generally i think uh i've seen customers getting great results with let's say 500 a thousand prompts um, again 10k is probably too much um for at least for initial experiments Okay, so we can run this for 10 hours. Obviously, we're not going to wait for 10 hours. I've already run this. So why don't I stop this job? And I've got my full training log here, which I will include. And we can see runtime is yeah just about 10 hours, right? Just about 10 hours. And that's three epochs, by the way. Uh, so again, if you wanted to do uh, to do less, uh, you can definitely do less. That's you know, ten hours is already a pretty significant job, right? For ten k prompts and three epochs. Okay, so most of you will be happy just you know fine tuning for maybe one two hours, and you can definitely do this with that. I would say I was gonna say tiny, but yeah, <laughs> tiny GPU instance compared to the P four and p5 monsters so um so i actually shared the model on the hub again i'll, I'll put the link right um with some uh, some details and uh and you can you can absolutely experiment with it i think i have a short inference script too so why don't we try that okay and we can see uh, we can see here we're actually um yeah we could actually load from the hub why don't we do that instead of loading locally okay let's fix this for a second okay and the cool stuff here is um it's a QLoRa model. So if we look at the weights we see here, we're just storing the the, the adapter model, which is just the, the delta weights in a way, right? Not the full model. So this is fast to, to download as well. Uh, we'll just grab the vanilla Lama 2 model, add the weights to this, and, and that's it, right? So let's give that a try. And we don't need to do anything, you know, it, it figure things out. It 
uh, the library is smart enough to know, hey, this is a QLORA model, so I, I need to grab the baseline and add the weight. Okay, and then I'm just uh, I'm just using a, a simple pipeline and, and printing out some, some stuff, right? Okay, let's try this. See how that goes. Okay, so again, yeah, needs to load the shards from the original model. That takes, uh, I guess, a minute. So I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so the model was loaded, and I can see some some answers here. Um, so feel free to to go and try. I mean, this proves that the model is working, and of course, you probably would want to deploy it nicely in a in a hugging face space or or something similar. But this is just a quick test. Okay. So what about cost? So let's go back to that page. Um, we can see G5 XL is $1 per hour. Okay. So total cost of that training job would be, let's say $10. Um, and if we use spot instances, again, if you've never heard about spot, you are missing out, please learn about spot as quickly as you can. And let's look at historical prices for G5 X large, yes. And let's take a look maybe or in three, three months. And we can see, okay, on demand is a dollar um, and spot price is 30 cents, right? Which means that this fine tuning job will now be $3, right? And assuming you had just a few thousand prompts or assuming you didn't fine tune for three epochs you can see how you can take this to you know two dollars maybe one dollar right so fine tuning llama to seven billion just for one or two dollars is something all of you can do out there okay so fine tuning is not difficult we have ready-made scripts for almost everything we have sample data sets uh, and thanks to parameter efficient fine tuning and quantization combined into QLORA, you can run this on a tiny GPU instance for literally a few dollars, right? So there's no reason not to try this. Uh, and, uh, and you can fine tune, you know, tens, hundreds of models on different data sets, different combinations, and, um, and for, for literally, you know, uh, a ridiculously low amount of money. So go and try that. Okay, and it looks like folks are picking up <laughs> because if we see, if we look at the last week or so, yeah, well, we can see some increased G5 um, spot price here, which tells me some folks out there uh, know how to do this and uh, and figure it out. They don't need to wait for or pay for P4 and P5 when they can uh, do the same thing uh, for, uh, again, silly money uh, on, on G5. So get them cheap while you can, okay? All right, well, that's pretty much uh, what I wanted to tell you. Um, and again, please read the blog post. I'll share all the links in the video description. <clears throat> I have a few more demos coming uh, on, on uh, LoRa and, and QLoRa, so Watch this space, and I hope this was useful. Until next time, keep rocking.